Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your gaming experience in Dragon Ball Z Sparkling Zero dropped recently. This guide will cover all of your FPS drops, frame lags, stuttering, and input latency issues. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so number one is as always the best settings for windows and for that head over to settings on your pc and over here you have to go down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar consumes a lot of cpu and ram usage in the background and disabling so will help you to improve your fps go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on this will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background and it will also reduce the number of notifications you get right beneath that you'll find graphic settings click on that and then click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windows games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to run the game as well as optimize your games and reduce input latency. Go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Once you are in your game, click on the sparkling0.exe and then click on add. Once that is added, head over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. After that, head over to privacy and security of your PC. Then go over to searching windows. Go down to advanced indexing options, click on advanced and then click on rebuild index. Once that is done, click on OK. Step number two is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it DBZ so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the DBZ Sparkling Zero FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this thing up and you'll find in seven simple folders. First one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority and this will help you to set the correct priority and CPU settings for your PC. Similarly, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority and it will do the same. Head back to the main folder, go over to RAM optimization and over here I have left a ton of RAM optimization registries according to your PC. Once again, I have 32GB RAM so I need to run the 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can pick from the preset and if you want to restore it back to normal in case of any issues you can always reset it back to default over here go back to the main folder and open up gpu optimization in which i have left three simple files first one is disable gpu energy driver second one is power throttling and third one is the sfio high priority make sure to run all three of them and will help you to improve your gpu's performance no matter if that is an integrated gpu or an external gpu once that is done go back and then head over to the fourth folder that is the dbz sparking zero priority this is probably the most important folder over here in which I have left high priority and normal priority. Once again, you have to double click and run the high priority and note down your FPS that you get after using this priority. In case you're facing any FPS issues, you can revert it back to normal priority over here. Next is the unwanted services and over here I have left a ton of services which are completely useless on your PC except the disabled Bluetooth service. If you use any Bluetooth devices, I highly recommend you guys to keep it enabled. But other than that, disable every single one right over here and this will help you to optimize your PC's performance since less number of services and processes will be running in the background. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back to normal, head over to the revert registries folder and revert them back again from here. Next is PC optimization in which I have left three simple registries. First one will boost your PC's responsiveness. Second one will disable large system cache and third one will disable power throttling. Make sure to run all three of them and that will help you to improve your system's performance responsiveness and power consumption for the maximum performance. Head back and next one is the programs in which I have left two simple programs. First one is cache cleaner, right click and this is administrator. Now this will start deleting all temporary files on your PC and ensure that your PC is free from all of the cache storage. These are the temporary files created by the programs that are no longer in use and they're completely useless. Disabling so will help you to improve your system's performance significantly. Let it run in the background. These are completely safe to do so. Next is MSI Module 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. Once this opens up in front of you, you have to look for your graphic card and then ensure that you have a check mark on the MSI tab. And for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Click on apply and then click on close. This will set up a higher interrupt priority on your graphic card, increase the SFIO priority and make sure that your graphic card is performing well. Once that is done, close your FPS pack and now let's move to the next step that is disabling sysmain. Sysmain is actually a systems service which is not really useful in some cases. If that is so, you have to look up for services on your PC and then look for sysmain over here. You have to right click and then make sure to disable and stop it. 
to disable it, head over to properties and then so the startup types are this to disable it and apply. Sysmain actually helps you to improve your system's performance over time, but this consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage and disabling so will help you to create a headroom for your PC to perform better. Most of the time Sysmain is not required on your PC. So see if your system performs well without it. If not, you can always re-enable it again. Next step is setting up virtual memory on your PC. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And over here, scroll down to the advanced tab. For virtual memory, click on change. And for the initial size, set this thing to 1361. Open up your calculator on your PC and multiply your RAM, that is 32 GB for me, with 1024. You will get your memory in megabytes. Divide this whole value by 2 and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size. Click on set, click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Once that is done, drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you open up your game, head down to options and then go down to graphics. Right over here, for the battle screen type, go with one screen battle. Window mode should be set to borderless. Resolution should be a native monitor resolution. Your screen number should be 1. Resolution scale, I would prefer 90 to 100, anywhere between there. But if you have a super low end PC, you can also go down to 85. V-Sync should also be turned off. Anti-aliasing quality, shadow quality should be set to low. Texture should be set to medium or high. Post-process quality should be low. Effects quality, medium. Depth of field, off. LOD, low. Grass quality, off. Motion blur, off. Camera shake, off. Destruction effect quality, low. But you guys can also go with high if you have a PC that can support it. Once that is done, go back. And now you can enjoy the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me out. Also, we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and I really count on you guys. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.